Ayoko na. Hi, ako si Pax. At kung nagtataka kayo kung ano yung ginagawa ko, nire-repair or nire-resolder ko yung cable na to for the nth time. And this cable is very old. Binili ko to mga 8 years ago pa. And yes, I'm that kind of guy who never buys a new cable as much as possible. Kasi it's good as new ones you cut cut and then resolder. Ang problema ay hindi ako magaling magsolder at marami rin sa inyo ang baka hindi nga marunong gumamit nito. Admit it, it's really hard lalo na kung wala kang right equipment. Katulad ko. At kung magaling ka man, kung masira ang cable mo sa gig, you can't resolder that on stage. So sometimes it's just better to get a new one pero sobrang sayang, di ba? So what's the point of this episode? Because I think someone might have found an affordable solution to this never-ending repair or pagbili ng guitar cables. A solderless guitar cable. A cable you can repair and use infinitely. So our friends from Pedalion Gear sent me this new cable design for testing. And it's called Cable. An infinite repair cable. At 640 pesos lang to sa Lazada. Tara, let's see how it works and if it works. So the packaging is a resealable ziplock and I think what this packaging implies is that it is meant to be reused. Clever. Okay, so what we have here are four plugs. Buksan natin. Ugh. Resealable. Dalawang straight type at dalawang L type. Tip lang, from my experience, it's always best to use straight type kapag going to the amp. And for guitar, if you have flush jack katulad ng sa Les Paul, SG, or PRS, use L type. Kapag recessed or nakalubog like sa Strat, use straight. This will lessen the chances of your cables breaking due to wear and tear. Pero di natin kailangan problemahin yun if this is the infinite repair cable. Okay, also in the package is a 10 foot long cable. Which is roughly 3 meters. Pwede rin kayong bumili ng 20 feet hanggang 30 feet. And also in the package ay instructions. Let's examine the plugs. They are made of die cast metal and it has some weight. As you can see, it has a smoke black color and I admit it looks stealthy. And the tip is gold plated. Explain ko lang ang benefits nito real quick. First, ang gold-plated tips ay mas corrosion resistant kesa sa nickel silver. Pero both still need polishing from time to time. Second, some claim na gold-plated tips have better conductivity, hence brighter tone. Ang isa sa mga believers nito allegedly ay si Eric Johnson who used gold tips para sa lead guitar and nickel tips para sa rhythm. Although this hasn't really been proven, so what we should focus talaga is the cable quality kasi dito nang gagaling yung brightness at dullness ng isang kable. Primarily, cable length and quality ng insulation ang nakakaganda sa isang cable. Ang dalawang ito ay may effect sa capacitance. Sa length, the longer the cable, the higher the capacitance. Mas dull lang tone. So it's always advised to use shorter cables. Well, ang suggested length naman for home recording and gigging starts at 10 to 15 feet. So 10 feet to and let's just keep it as is. Now for the cable quality, let's just check yung capacitance nito sa specs. And according sa specs, 62 picofarads per meters. Mahirap itong i-explain kaya i-compare na lang natin sa mahal na cable. Ang Klotz 110, one of the best guitar cable in the market has a capacitance of 65 picofarads per meter and these cables are full sounding. Our little friend here has 62 picofarads per meter. Now theoretically this is promising but the only way to prove it is to assemble it. So tara! Okay let's start with the straight plug muna. So the first thing we will do is unscrew the bottom cap and inside the bottom cap is a cable lock which stops the cable from being pulled out. Next remove this screw. So we're gonna use a screwdriver. So we have four parts. And the next step is isasaksak natin yung cable. Pero silipin nga muna natin kung ano yung nasa loob. So inside the plug is a pin that will connect the hot wire as you press against it. Pero bago natin ipasok, let's put the bottom cap muna. Tapos yung stopper. Medyo mahirap ilagay yung stopper, which is a good thing. Ibig sabihin nun, tight ito. So, mas i-hold nyo in place yung kable. Now, it says here na we just have to push the cable in as hard as we can. Okay, that wasn't so hard. Well, walang any clicking sound. Pero you can feel the cable reaching the end of the plug. After that, we just have to push back the stopper inside. Just enough that the bottom cap reaches the thread of the plug. Tapos, screw it in. And lastly, 
Okay, last step. So we just have to put the screw back in. And this screw will pierce through the cable para mag-connect sa ground. Ooh, that's interesting. So ayan, medyo lumalaban yung rubber sa loob. That means nabubutas siya nitong screw. Okay, ngayon naman, we're gonna do the other end. Tapos, L-plug ang gagamitin ko since PRS yung gitara ko. Unscrew the bottom cap. Stopper. Screw. Tapos, balik ang bottom cap. And then, this one. The stopper is always the most difficult. Okay. And then, we push in. Interestingly, malalaman yung enough yung push nyo kasi kakagat yung pin dun sa kable. So, yan, naka-hold siya. And then, put this back in. Yan. Thread. And we're done. Alright, moment of truth. Will it work? So, isasaksak natin to sa interface going through neural DSP. Mukhang gumagana na nga. It works and that was fast. Oh, and yes, it has a bright full tone. Okay, pero wait lang. Check natin kung stable ba yung connection. Kasi ang biggest problem kapag DIY solder ay kapag binend mo yung cable malapit sa plug, it loses contact. Kasi ang problema kapag di ka magaling mag-solder, you end up melting the insulator kaya sumasablay. Ang tawag ko dun blind spots. So, check natin dito kung may blind spots. Alright, walang blind spot dito. Try natin sa kabila. Ha, walang blind spot. Okay, pero meron pa tayong mas mabigat na test. Can it stand the hard pull test? <laughs> I'm sorry, pedalyon. I have to try this. Kasi sa actual scenario, natatapakan ng cables. So, sana gumana pa rin kahit hablutin natin. Okay, lagi tayo ng clock dito para makita nyo na dire-diretso yung shot na to. Let's start pulling. No blind spots, gumagana pa rin. Sa kabila naman. Ah. Okay, gumagana. Matibay, matibay yung connection. I guess the last test na gagawin ko is to simulate a real scenario kung saan masisiraan tayo ng kable sa stage at walang backup. Sa soldering, hindi mo magagawa yun. So, possible bang ma-repair ito ng mabilisan? And this means kailangan natin magdala ng scissors at Phillips screwdriver sa ating gig bag. Ayan, sasama natin sa simulation yun. Okay, meron tayong timer dito at sa simulation natin, kasama yung pagkuha ng gamit sa gig bag. Game, 3, 2, 1... Go. Tanggal muna yung screw agad. Para isang hatak na lang. Okay, screw. Okay, di ko natatanggalin to. Atras na lang. Gupit na mabilis. Tingkat. Okay. 
Masuk. Masuk-masuk ulit. Huh. One minute. Okay, after some serious testing, ang masasabi ko ay this cable really works. Depende na lang sa pandinig nyo, pero for me, hindi ito maingay. Guys, I'm surrounded by LED lights and Edison bulbs. So basically, kung pangit yung insulation nito, mapipick up ng cable. So sa tone naman, I noticed na mas may highs yung guitar ko dito. Well, partly because we are using a 10 feet cable. Although ayoko talaga mag-claim masyado for tone kasi this could just be cork sniffing. I might just be excited right now. But in my ears, it sounds full. So I am truly impressed. Now, this set is just 640 pesos sa Lazada. And I can imagine na kung bibili ako nito ngayon, basically I will still have it after 5 or 10 years. So the only reason na hindi mo to repair is kung mag-break yung wire mo somewhere in between the cable. But the good news is, the replacement cable for this is just 23 pesos per foot. So if 10 feet, 230 pesos lang yun. Ang laking tipid nun. I'm not sure lang kung meron na silang replacement plugs, pero hopefully soon. At kung ikukumpara natin yung 640 pesos na ito versus buying a 350 peso cable tapos bibili ka ng soldering kit, here is the breakdown. Kung akala mong makakatipid ka, that's 626 pesos on top of your 350 peso cable. That's 976. Wala pa sa usapan dito yung dami ng oras na gugugulin mo for trial and error para matuto ka maghinang. So I guess at this point, I can say na this is money well spent. Kasi even just the 10 feet set can make two reliable 5 feet cables. At kung nasa bahay ka lang, sapat na yun. I guess ang hindi ko na lang talaga masasabi ngayon is kung gaano katagal talaga yung tibay ng parts nito. Ito. I really have to test this sa gigs. But for now, I can approve this is the infinite repair cable and it really sounds good. Isa ito sa mga pinakasulit na gear na nakita ko sa Philippine market. At Filipino rin ang may-ari nito. So, good job cable. That's cable with a Q. And if you are interested sa product na to, check the link I provided below and hopefully we can cross out cable issues sa list of things na we worry about. That was fun. Thanks Pedalion Gear. Ako si Pax. Hanggang sa muli, tugtug lang.